Hey, what's up, you beautiful people? Today I've got a big story for you. President Biden just pardoned his son, Hunter Biden, and it's causing all sorts of waves across the political landscape. So, let's dive right into it. On December 2, 2024, President Biden issued a pardon for Hunter Biden. This covers federal felony gun and tax convictions. Now this is a huge reversal from Biden's previous promises not to use his presidential powers to benefit his family. He had even reiterated this stance during Hunter's trial and as recently as November 8, 2024, through White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. The pardon isn't just for the specific gun and tax charges. It covers all offenses committed between January 1, 2014 and December 1, 2024. Biden justified this by saying that raw politics tainted the process, leading to what he called a miscarriage of justice. He argued that Hunter was singled out only because he is my son. Hunter Biden's legal team also weighed in, releasing a white paper titled The Political Prosecutions of Hunter Biden. They claim he was used as a surrogate to attack and injure his father. Let's not forget, Hunter was convicted in Delaware on three felonies for lying on a federal form about drug use when buying a firearm, and pleaded guilty to misdemeanor and felony tax charges in California. Sentencing was expected this month, but the original plea deal, which could have spared him prison time, fell apart under judicial scrutiny. Of course, the political backlash has been swift. Republican Representative James Comer called the pardon an evasion of accountability, stating this is just the tip of the iceberg. And then there's former President Trump, who pardoned his son-in-law's father Charles Kushner and other allies during his time in office. Trump criticized Biden's pardon of Hunter as an abuse and miscarriage of justice. Hunter Biden, for his part, expressed gratitude for the pardon, took responsibility for his mistakes, and claimed they were exploited for political gain. His legal team has already filed motions to dismiss the cases. And let's not forget David Weiss, the Trump-appointed U.S. attorney who originally negotiated Hunter's plea deal. He was later appointed as special counsel by Attorney General Merrick Garland. So there you have it, folks. Biden's controversial pardon of his son, Hunter, is shaking up the political scene. What do you think? Is this a justified move to correct a political wrong, or is it an abuse of presidential power? Let me know in the comments below. As always, stay informed, stay engaged, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.